Okay, we're back. Um, so that was my first person. Now I get to choose three more people. Um, and so I'm going to say I met, and I'll put that person's name. Two to three key details that will help me remember this person are. So it's kind of the following the same pattern. Um, but you have some choices now of where you want to get these books from. So I'm going to go back to Schoology. Top left corner, I'm going to hit my back arrow. Um, so underneath my step two, open discovering many important historical people and notability. Um, I can choose from like mini biographies, which I'll show you, or um, one part I'm going to show you here on Epic. Ooh, good, it's still there. So on Epic, um, I sent you, so you can go and check um, kind of in your your messages and no, um, or basically notifications. Um, you're going to see, I, I got, well, it's also got in your mailbox. You're going to see in your mailbox, I sent you a, I sent you a, um, basically a message. Um, biography collection. So um, I assigned this to all of you. There are 86 books in here about different important people. There's are tons. So for your graphic, it's just, it's taking a long time for this to load here. It'll load up. So for your graphic organizer, you could just go on Epic and choose, you could choose four people just from Epic. Um, for me, I just would choose three more, but for you, you could choose four pe four more people. You just write the person's name on top and then two or three super important details why somebody should remember that person. So Epic could be one of your choices. You're gonna go back to Schoology. Um, right here it says go to Kids A to Z or Epic. So when you click that open, I just have go to Kids A to Z and look the look at the books I assigned. Um, or you can just go to your reading room or go to Epic and look, look at the books I sent you in your mailbox called Biography Collection. Or on Schoology, I have this thing called Mini Biographies. If you open this up, it's a PDF, but um, it's a bunch of different people, a tons. Um, all you have to like, there's look at there's Susan B. Anthony right there, um, Eleanor Roosevelt, Frederick, Frederick Douglass, Sojourner Truth, tons. So you could click any of these. Um, I like Maya Angelou. Um, she's right over here. She's a very famous poet. All I have to do is touch the touch the name, and it brings me to a website. Um, and basically it's going to kind of teach me all about this person. So I can go through here and read these. Um, I'm going back to Epic to see if it's still there or not. It's still kind of loading. Um, the books that I chose on, on Epic to put in this collection, there are more book. There's tons more, but I just see if I can get this to open um, like this first one. So it's all about Martin Luther King. You're going to see, though, it's a book that reads to you. All of the ones that I chose for Epic are ones that actually read to you. So that is an option for you, too. So especially, I mean, if, um, if there's like some more challenging books that you're unsure about some of the words, letting this read to you might help. Or you can just use this, this document in Schoology and pick any of these people or go to Kids A to Z. But really, you're just going to pick... Um, Four people from Epic, Kids A to Z, or this document on Schoology um, to do to just write about four different people just to discover them. Um, when you're all done, just submit this back to Schoology. Then you have your Kids A to Z book and quiz that I assigned you. And yeah, I'm just, I'm really excited to see the people that everyone chooses. Um, yeah, have fun reading and learning, everybody. Bye.